Good morning guys. So after what happened yesterday, we're definitely going to take it a lot more easier today. If, if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, um, we went to an abandoned hotel, kind of like trespassing basically. And then the security guard at one point pulled a gun on us, but everything's okay. Anyway, today we're going to go to one of the main tourist attractions here in, um, here in Rio called the Sugarloaf Mountain. You may have heard of it before. So we're going to head there. I think we're going to get some bikes. You, you can like rent a bike in the street. Like, like a lot of the major cities have the little bike rentals. So me and Carol are going to rent the bikes and then we're going to ride all the way there. There's a, like a little secret trail that not many people know about. So we're going to do the trail up to the first mountain because it's two mountains. So we'll do the trail and then we'll get the cable cart up to the second one. So that was a really fun bike ride. So we've just arrived in Uka now where the trail to Panjasuka, Sugarloaf Mountain is going to start. So we're going to be going on a trail up to this mountain here and then later on we get a cable cart to that one because obviously you can't get a trail to that one, it's too big. And here we're at a beach called Praia Vermelha which means red beach. It's a really beautiful one. You can see either side you got the, the mountains like a little bay yeah it's a really nice beach so now we're gonna head down here and that's where the trail is gonna start So here behind me is the trail that we're going to do to the top of the mountain but first we're going to do this trail around here which is around the side of the rock. Me and Carol have never done it so yeah we're going to check out what's around here first and then do the trail. So we just finished walking down this, this walkway at the side of the rock. It's pretty cool seeing the seafront from different angles. And what I didn't know is that there's actually quite a few other trails other than the ones that we're going to be doing. So yeah, I wasn't aware of that. But we're heading back to the one that we were going to do originally that I showed before. So we're heading there now. So it's not a hard trail but as you can see it's just constantly going up steps, steps, steps and more steps. So it's pretty damn tiring but I think the trail is only like 30 minutes so I think we're halfway there. So 
we just made it to the top of the first little mountain so yeah right here you can see that's where we started all the way down there and then you can even see from here the fort that I was at the other day the Lemmy fort at the end of Kof Cabana. so you got that where we started and then you got all this view here pretty crazy over here you have the where the cable carts leave and hey yeah, there's one coming up right now <laughs> So we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to head up and there's even better views up at the top. So here you got the first uh, cable car that was made in 1912. Wouldn't I like to go up in that thing versus the modern one. This is what we have right now. So yeah, quite a big difference. <laughs> So as you can see here, the view is incredible from up here, all the way around. So down here we have uh, Botafogo, which is a neighborhood. Got the Jesus Christ statue up there. Then over here you have another neighborhood called Flamengo. We're probably going to stick around here for the sunset. We're going to go to the second mountain now by Cable Cat and hopefully the view will be better because right now the sun's a bit in the way so yeah hopefully the sunset's good from there So on this side of the mountain, we've got um, a better view of Niteroi. If you see, Niteroi just looks pretty much, it's like another little Rio. The landscape and everything is very similar. It's pretty cool as well. Okay guys, watching the sunset from here was like really epic. I mean, it's so it's so beautiful here at night. You can see behind me. It's a pretty crazy view. So, yeah, we're going to call it a day now. It's late and um, yeah, it's just been a good day. Definitely worth coming here for sure. There's a reason why it's one of the main tourist attractions. So if you like this video, please give me a like. And also check out my other videos. I'm doing quite a few here in Brazil. And yeah, that's a good night for me for today.